Thanks. Uh, the, the cube is where we try to, you know, extract information and share it with the broader communities and get out there. And uh, um, we, we we have a long history talking with QLogic, uh, and we, we've had a number of uh, QLogic people at, at previous shows in the past. Um, and, and so, first of all, I believe you're new to QLogic, correct? And I am. This, this is your is first time in the cube. It is. Yeah. All right. And, so, and if so, you're so, extracting information, don't go too hard on me if you don't mind. It, 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 so. It's all right. So, so, so <laughs> Rob, can, can I get, first give us a little background on yourself and where you come from? And what, what brought you to Q? Yeah, so I, I've been in the storage business for a while. So probably 20 plus years I've been in the storage business. And uh, just recently I was, uh, you know, in, in the business with Quantum as a OEM channels guy. Sure. Uh, and, you know, just within the last few weeks I've started at QLogic. Great opportunity for me and uh, really excited about it. Excellent. Great. So uh, we're here at HP Discover, and, yeah. and obviously a, a very strong partner. Uh, we, we were just talking about virtual systems and the Flex Fabric Virtual Connect, which is built on it's, it's QLogic technology. I, I wrote last year that it uh, actually killed the protocol wars. It's fiber channel and Ethernet are converging together, right. and that, that's built on uh, on, H, uh, on QLogic technology partnered with HP. So, that's right. uh, let, let, you know, what are you doing here at HP Discover? Where, you know, where's the relationship with QLogic and HP? Well, it's a great opportunity for us just to network and, and you know work with a lot of the sales and the channel partners that we work with every day. I think, you know, QLogic is a bit of an unknown secret underneath a lot of the, you know, chemistry that makes the HP products great. Um, so all the, you know, the things we're focused on around Flex Fabric, the things we're doing around Virtual Connect, these are all projects that we've worked on for years with HP. A lot of development work, cooperative work that went into those. Um, and, and I think one of the things we want to try and do is, is just make sure that we're doing everything we can to make that an extension of their sales efforts and their, make them successful. Right. So as you said, you know, QLogic's one of those, you know, kind of embedded pieces, but right. QLogic also has, you know, components. So, you know, most people, if they're familiar with QLogic, think about, you know, fiber channel host bus adapters, you know. Right. Something that, you know, might not be the sexiest thing, but, you know, if that device driver doesn't work, my storage, my server can't talk to each other. Right. So a lot of value, you know, mission critical, running in all the data centers there. Um, and, and QLogic, many years ago through the leadership of HK Desai, you know, really picked Pivoted to the embedded space, but you yep. know maybe you know, fr from the sales standpoint, you know where is QLogic from? You know standalone products, embedded channels, OEMs. You know wh 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 where, where's QLogic in, in kind of the ecosystem today? Yeah, it's a, a, you mentioned something interesting. You know, it's kind of the heritage of the company is one of the things that attracted me to QLogic. I, I think you know, this is a company that's built on a technology basis. A lot of engineering, uh, you know brain in this company. These guys are very capable, very sharp engineers, and that's kind of our heritage, and that's one of the things that attracted me. I think in, in our business, we need to be technically differentiated. We need to be pushing the envelope a bit, and that's one of the things that I, I think has, has helped us develop such a strong position in fiber channel adapters, what everybody knows QLogic for. I, I think the, the interesting thing is there's more to the product line now. We've done a lot more in recent years, stuff that people are not as aware of, probably. So a lot of the converged infrastructure that we're focused on right now, it's a big extension uh, as people you know, look for flexibility in the protocols and the way that they connect their storage. You know, we see a, a big advantage there. We've got a strong history in storage. We know storage better than anybody. And as those protocols move forward and as people need flexibility in the environments as they build fabrics out, uh, you know, it's one of the places where we offer a, lot, a big advantage today. Yeah, and, and I have to say, I, mean, I believe you know HP is a very strong partner from QLogic. Uh, last year, John Furrier actually broke the news uh, when there was the big split between HP and Cisco o over switches, and right. uh, QLogic was the beneficiary uh, from the fiber channel switching standpoint. So, um, and, and you, you talked about some you know cool and interesting technologies. You know, maybe you can give us you know give a little insight about some of the places that QLogic's playing. Well, you know, I think you know in relation to what happened a year ago, those things are happening throughout. Uh, the industry today. There's still, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, the storage market is consolidating. You've got a lot of people that are becoming part of bigger companies. I, I think one of the things that you'll always see from us is that as we develop products and as we move forward, flexibility is going to be a big part of what we're focused on. I, I think if you look at, you know, between left hand and 3PAR and EVA and MSA, all the storage technologies that HP represents in the market today, giving customers the flexibility to adapt and use tiers of storage where they need it and use one fabric and, and have a common connectivity structure with those products is really important. And I think that's something is, is you know, looking forward, we look at things we're working on technology-wise, it's to push that forward and do more with it. If, if we're able to, uh, you know, give people, I think the big things we're focused on are going to be performance and scalability. Obviously, it's important in a storage world, especially as people put more on less storage systems. 
Um, it's going to be the flexibility of those systems, being able to adapt to different protocols. And simplicity is a big thing. Okay. Simplicity, management, so, all so, those things. So, so Rob, I mean, we, we talk about convergence. QLogic plays at the storage level, the server layer, and the network layer. Network's really kind of the core. So final question I have for you yep. is, you know, big trend wave towards Ethernet being more prevalent in storage. Uh, yep. You know, fr from, you know, you're the sales guy there. You know, yeah. how, how's QLogic going to, you know, take on the likes of Intel and Broadcom and your, your traditional competitors like Emulex? You know, how, do, how does QLogic come through this transition, you know, being a market leader? Yeah, I, I think the thing you look for is where, where's our heritage number one? We're a strong storage uh, player. We know the, the fiber channel and the storage world extremely well. I think converged you know, infrastructure, you know, there's a lot of pluses to that, but there's also challenges because you've got critical data, you know, expertise and experience in storage is important. Making sure the stack's proven that you've got you know, technology that's, that's uh, you know, been through the battles and is, and is hardened. You know, that's one of the advantages we bring to the market. So as much as storage is a part of that converged infrastructure, we see a really strong role for QLogic in there. And I think mm -hmm. that's, of all the things, all the data we're moving across networks, storage is one of the toughest. It has the highest requirements, you know, the least tolerance for interruption, all of those things. The fact that we have strength there is going to be an advantage to us. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree. Storage is mission critical. You know, can't lose, no unavailability, no data loss. So, so Rob, right. first of all, Congre you know, best of luck in your new role with Thanks. QLogic. You are now a Cube alum, so thank you for sharing with the community. Yeah, that's my first here. time on 